Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're taking a quick look at the Kurt Custom Fit Vehicle Wiring Harness. This is going to give you a four pull at the back of your vehicle so that you can do any kind of basic wiring for a trailer. So if you're going to be pulling something behind you and you need to be able to have the light functions from your vehicle transferred to your trailer, this is going to be the kit for you. Now if you need an upgrade to a seven pole, this is kind of the first step in doing so. And we have a lot of information and parts available if that's going to be something you're going to do later on down the road. But as far as this kit, the nice thing about it is that there's no splicing required. It's since it is custom fit, it's just going to be a plug and play application and it uses your vehicle's plugs to just run right in line. It's not going to affect the overall functions of your lights when you're driving normally. It doesn't change anything about uh, your how your vehicle operates. It's just going to be there as a, an additional system that's going to allow you to have that function for your trailer lights. So let's take a closer look and we'll talk about what this actually fits. This works for the 2000 through the or the 2020 through the current year model for the Buick Encore GX. So if you have that vehicle, this is going to match up with your vehicle's wiring. So all you have to do is get access to the back of your tail lights, plug and play with the uh, plugs right there. That's where it gets the name T vehicle wiring harness since this makes a T. The green wire is going to go for the passenger side. The red yellow and brown goes to the driver's side. There's also a white wire that's going to be your ground. The black wire coming off of here is your power supply and that needs to go to your battery or potentially a fuse uh, block if you have um, another source of power there or uh, another hookup there. Usually it's going to be going to your uh, positive side of the battery in your vehicle and you'll have a fuse to go in line between that. It also supplies a fuse to go in there. It's a 10 amp fuse. So you're going to be protected by the fuse there and also by the box itself. This is kind of the brains of the operation. This is also going to protect your vehicle from any kind of back feed from your uh, trailer into your vehicle and vice versa. So it helps to keep everything safe. This is uh, a nice unit here. They have all this potting material, which is kind of like an epoxy to keep everything safe. So it's going to be protected from any kind of shocks and road vibrations. And it also protects it from any kind of water, dirt, or debris from getting inside. So you just need to find a nice sturdy spot to mount this. It does come with some zip ties to help you make that connection. Also a couple butt connectors to make the connection between your bulk wire and the power wire, and also between the bulk wire and your, um, fuse holder and then the fuse holder to your battery. So you get all those connectors here in that bag, a piece of double sided foam tape to connect your module box here. So pretty straightforward. It's something you can do in your driveway, in your garage, usually takes maybe about an hour or two. The hardest part usually is just getting access to uh, the taillights themselves. There might be a couple of screws or fasteners that you have to remove or there might also be some panels inside your vehicle that you'll have to pop out but other than that pretty straightforward and you can get it done in an afternoon so i hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right choice for you we do have a lot of wiring accessories and trailer accessories here at eTrailer.com, so be sure to check us out and thanks for watching